mad scientist creates an abomination that cannot be stopped. Stitched together from pieces of the dead. Here to shock women into uncontrollable hysteria and strike terror in the hearts of men. It's alive! It's alive! And it's trying to sleep. Shut the hell up. And now I'm going to build you a bride. <laughs> Walter, do I look like Walter? We well, look like a Walter Frankenstein. Well, then call me Frankenstein. <laughs> All right, Frankenstein, you look good. No, I don't. I look like a cross between Hillary Clinton and the Hulk. <laughs> no offense, Hulk. All right. <laughs> You don't look like either one of them. Yeah, then I look like Gundy in a nursing home. How about that? <laughs> that would make you pokey. <laughs> Get it? You're an ass. I got it. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, I've been working on that. <laughs> That's my angry sound. Yeah. Here's my happy sound. <laughs> Here's surprised. <laughs> Here's gay. Oh. <laughs> if you don't like the costume, then why'd you pick this one? We we're supposed to dress as whatever scared us as a kid. Oh, so for you, that was Frankenstein. Actually, it was a Catholic priest, but... <laughs> but everybody gets mad when I offend the Mexicans. <laughs> Walter, are you ever happy? You should hope not. <laughs> Why? Can you imagine me coming out of here in a good mood? Hi, everybody. I'm Walter, and life is peachy. <laughs> You'll be working at Starbucks in a fucking week. <laughs> um, Why? Language. English. <laughs> And you didn't even have to push one to hear it. <laughs> you know, Walter, these people came here to be entertained. Not all of them. <laughs> you know there's a handful of guys sitting out there right now whose wives were like, oh, come on, we had to go see the middle-aged dumbass and his dolls. <laughs> and now those guys are sitting out there right now going, son of a bitch. It's a middle-aged dumbass and his dolls. <laughs> and now you're playing dress up with your dolls. <laughs> When's the tea party, Ken? <laughs> middle-aged dumbass. Which part of that did you not like the most? Middle-aged or dumbass. What do you think? Well, you're only as old as you feel, but dumbass is in the DNA. In a world where crime is rampant and no one is willing to make a stand, there is only one who can take back the night. So what is it you do, Mr. Nutt? I do nothing. I am rich. I mean, really rich. Want to see my car?
How you doing, Peanut? Doing pretty good. How about you? I'm fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. So you're Batman. No, no, no. I'm that nut. <laughs> bat nut, yes. That nut, not least avenger of the night. Is that why you're talking like that? Of course. Bat nut, yes. You sound more like you're the choker. <laughs> Hey, shut up. I do the talking. You just stand there and try to look like you're doing something besides just standing there. Look, do you really think bat nuts scares criminals? Of course, especially if they have a nut allergy. <laughs> Face my honey roasted justice. So it seems to me like I'm standing next to a poor excuse for a Batman. And I'm standing next to a poor excuse for a white man. <laughs> so, do you have any weapons? Of course. Batman has the batarang, I have the nutarang. <laughs> the nutarang, yes, it does exactly what you think it does. <laughs> but when it comes back, I don't want to catch it. <laughs> and I have two of them. I call them the dynamic duo. <laughs> And I keep them near the lap hole. <laughs> Are you finished? Yes, no more double entendres. Thank you. Until the next one, Peanut, don't get testicle. Oh, come on. <laughs> so like Batman, do you have a signal in the sky to summon you? Well, I've been trying to figure that out. First, I was going to have a big bat in the sky. Then I thought, no, that's Batman. Then I thought, I know, I'll have one big nut in the sky. Then I thought, no, that's Lance Armstrong. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I have everything Batman has except one thing. What? A uh, butler. <laughs> Funny. Oh, come on, dude. You make a great butler. No, just go with it. You're that nuts butler. Great. The nutler. Now, Nutler, go iron my cape and disinfect my polyester black shorts. I'm not going to be your butler. Nutler, whatever. I'm not doing it. Oh, it's not like you have anything else to do. What does that mean? Seriously, what are you doing the other guys and I aren't here? Walk around looking for other folks to stand next to? <laughs> you even already have a butler name. What Dunham? <laughs> Dunham, bring me my tea. It's time to butter the scones. I could even have a little bell. Ding, ding. Cha -fa -fa. <laughs> I want my scones. I'm not taking orders from you. You would if I did it in the voice. Cha -fa -fa. <laughs> time to polish the nuttering. And please fluff the padding in my cup. of his presence. He sleeps in the tomb by day and arises at night with an insatiable thirst. <laughs> the tooth of the vampire. I fear we're dealing with a vampire. The tooth of the vampire. Back. Okay, maybe, but I'm not going to fall. So, Bubba Jay, are you Team Everett or Team Jacob? Oh, I'm Team Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen those Twilight vampires. I'm not sure about that. That one main guy, he's got a six pack, right? Yeah, big deal. I got a keg. <laughs> I'm not sure about the old kind of vampires either. How's that? Well, I could never sleep in this coffin. Why not? Well, my favorite things are beer and bean dip. <laughs> yeah, you get it, huh? 
Not good when you're in a pine box with no holes in it. <laughs> Dutch oven my ass. <laughs> so, Baba Jay, did you go trick-or-treating when you were a kid? Yeah, but where I lived, it wasn't easy. Why? It's hard to go trick-or-treat where any house you're at could suddenly pull away. <laughs> Ding dong, trick or treat. <laughs> He's got Milky Way. Shoot the tires. <laughs> I'm going tell you, you look good. Well, I was going to come dressed as a monster truck. A monster truck. Yeah, why didn't you? The muffler kept falling out on my ass. <laughs> Well, like this, I think you're pretty scary. Thanks. But what scares you? Oh, tornadoes, <laughs> breathalyzers, <laughs> and books with words. <laughs> well, I'll agree with you on the tornadoes. Yeah, it's pretty scary when you get into bed and the room is thinning the wrong way. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> I don't think Dorothy's house really went anywhere. She was just drunk off her ass. <laughs> you know, Bubba Jay, you kind of look like the Count on Sesame Street. Oh, that's the vampire that knows how to count, right? Yeah. That's where he and I are different. <laughs> so how high can you count? Six. When I buy a 12-pack, I just have to trust them. <laughs> Why do you just buy two six-packs? <laughs> I think I hurt my brain. <laughs> well, Bobby J, if you were a real vampire, you'd have to stay inside all day. Yeah, what would you do? I'd watch NASCAR on my plasma TV. Oh. You, wait a minute, you, ha you have a plasma TV? Well, sort of. It's a regular TV, but I call it that because I sold my blood to get it. <laughs> How big is the TV? 63 inches. That's a good one. Yeah, the first thing I watched on it was a sad movie about a dead-end street where drunk guys struggle to find some meaning in their pathetic lives. It was a half an hour before I realized I was gazing out my front window. <laughs> I love Halloween. Trick or drink. <laughs> Trick or treat. Not on my road. <laughs> what do you do, hand out cans of beer? <laughs> That'd be dumb. No, no. <laughs> I squirt them in the mouth with a keg hose. <laughs> yeah, that ain't no normal golden shower. I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> so have you ever had any trouble around your neighborhood on Halloween? Yeah, last Halloween, somebody threw toilet tissue all over my trailer. Really? Yeah. Just in time, too, I was out of leaves and down to pine cones. 